All right, everybody, welcome back for another deep dive with us. And uh, today we're talking about something pretty cool. Yeah, cool. some pretty cool. Literally. Yeah, literally pretty cool uh, that you probably don't think about too much, but I bet you will after this deep dive. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about refrigerant. Refrigerant. Yeah. The stuff that makes your AC keep you cool. Keep you cool. Yeah. And there's this new stuff called R32 that's coming. It's coming. It's going to be here by 2025. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be the next big thing. And we're going to talk all about it and why it's such a big deal. Yeah, it's a, it's a big shift in the industry. And I think it's you know, going to be really interesting to see how it all plays out. It's a big deal for the environment and, yeah. and for your wallet. And your wallet. Yeah, that's the best part. So if you're interested in saving some money and saving the planet. Who isn't? Then uh, stick around. <laughs> this is the place to be. So uh, what is it about this R32 that makes it so different from what we're using now? Well, right now, the most common refrigerant that's used in AC systems is called R410A. Right. And it works, you know. It works. But it's got a big problem, and that's its global warming potential. Okay. It's got a really high global warming potential. Global warming potential. Uh I know you know what that means, but just in case anybody does <laughs> It's basically a measure of how much a gas can contribute to global warming compared to carbon dioxide. Right. So carbon dioxide has a global warming potential of one, right. and R410A has a global warming potential of... The 2088. Which is... Huge. Wild. Yeah, so that means it traps over 2,000 times more heat in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide does. Wow. So it's not great. Not great for the environment. No. Okay, so this new stuff, R32, Yeah. how does it stack up? Well, R32 has a global warming potential of 675, okay. which is still significant, but it's a lot lower than R410A. So two-thirds lower. Yeah, about two-thirds lower. Okay, so that's a big improvement. It's a big improvement. All right, so obviously it's better for the environment. Right. But how does it affect me, the homeowner? Yeah. You know, am I going to see a difference? Besides feeling good about saving the planet. Yeah, besides that, am I going to see a difference in my life? You could see a difference in your wallet. Okay. Because R32 is also more efficient. Oh, really? It can actually absorb and release heat more effectively than R410A. Interesting. Which means that your AC system can cool your home using less energy. Ah. So that translates to lower electricity bills. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Who doesn't like lower electricity bills? Exactly. So I'm hearing this new refrigerant is a win-win. It seems to be. Better for the planet, better for my wallet. Yeah. So you mentioned earlier that some companies are already starting to use R32. Yeah, there are a couple of big names in the industry like Goodman and Dakin who are already putting R32 into their new units. Now, I know Goodman. They're pretty popular. Yeah. What are they known for? They're known for making systems that are really affordable and durable. Okay, so that's good news because that means that this new technology is probably going to be more accessible. Exactly. It's not going to be, you know, some crazy expensive thing that yeah. only a few people can afford. Right. It's going to be something that hopefully everybody can benefit from. So for all of our listeners out there who are thinking, okay, this is all very interesting, but what does this mean for me? Should I be running out to buy a new AC unit? Well, I wouldn't say you need to run out and buy one right now. Okay. But it's definitely something to keep in mind. Okay. Especially if you're thinking about upgrading your system anytime soon. Gotcha. Because an R32 system is not only going to be better for the environment, but it could also save you money in the long run. On those energy bills. On those energy bills, yeah. And you might not need to refill the refrigerant as often either. Oh, really? Yeah, because R32 systems tend to be more leak resistant. Okay. So lower energy bills... Less maintenance. Sounds good to me. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Now, what about for the HVAC contractors out there? Yeah. Is this a big deal for them? Definitely. It's a big deal for them because it's a chance for them to stay ahead of the curve. Okay. You know, offer their customers something new and exciting. This cutting edge technology. Yeah, the cutting edge technology that's good for their wallet and good for the planet. Right. Makes them look good. Exactly. So do you think, based on everything that we've talked about, that this R32 has the potential to become the industry standard? You know, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it definitely has the potential. I mean, it's more environmentally friendly. It's more efficient. Mm -hmm. We're already seeing these big companies adopting it. Mm -hmm. There are some challenges, of course. Okay. I mean, R32 is slightly flammable, so you have to be careful with it. Right. But the industry is developing training and guidelines to address that. Okay. So ultimately, I think it's going to come down to how quickly consumers embrace it. 
Yeah. And whether governments start offering incentives to make the switch. That makes sense. Mm. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a lot more informed about my AC now. Me too. Um, and it's really interesting to think about how, you know, we take our AC for granted. Yeah. But the technology behind it. Constantly evolving. It's constantly evolving. Yeah. And who knows what's next? Exactly. Who knows what's coming down the pipeline? Yeah. If R32 is just the beginning. The tip of the iceberg. What else is out there? Right. So to all of our listeners out there, mm -hmm. if you're thinking about upgrading your AC anytime soon, yeah. keep an eye out for this R32. It's coming. It might just be the cool change that your home and the planet needs. And your wallet. And your wallet. Yeah. And... As always. Yes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Spread the word. Spread the word. And we'll see you next time for another deep dive. See ya. Bye. Bye.